All right, to get this engine running, we put it up on the dyno, we leveled it, and then we built an adapter plate for um, Dodge. So we now have a Mopar adapter plate that's built for your engine. We got it hooked up to the drive shaft. We put on a reverse rotation um, starter so that it starts backwards. Um, what really turns backwards on this entire engine is just a crank. It has a gear drive that turns the cam the proper way. Um, the ignition system, the, the wire's a little wonky. A lot of the hoses are a little wonky. Um, we're gonna make a bunch of recommendations when it comes to that. Um, we redid the way the vacuum works on the carburetor. And to make it run right, we've simply had to just keep adjusting the carburetor. I've, I've just had to go through the entire thing and just set the low speeds to get it to start right. Set the timing. The timing was out to lunch. And if you move that timing from where it is, it'll still run, but it will backfire and pop and fart down low. Where we have it set up now, you'll see in the video. It's pretty awesome. It starts, it runs, it goes. And when you hammer it with a ton of load, what happens even at 1900 RPM, it just takes it, just comes through. And it'll bring this boat up on plane and do a nice job. Now, we've checked the plugs, the plugs look good. We're going to lean it out just a tiny bit more because it's still just too much fuel going to it, but we're getting really, really close and it's running great, starting great, doing what it needs to do. It's going to be awesome in the boat. What power have we made so far? So far we've made uh, just about, we can consistently make 470 foot pounds, 360 horse. And we can print that over and over and over. We can make 353 over and over and over. We're running this engine anywhere from 140 to 160 degrees, no hotter than that. It's making 50 to 55 um, pounds of oil pressure consistently. There's a whole bunch of little niggling things that you're going to want to fix up. Like uh, there's some hoses that are really old that need to be replaced. There's some gaskets that need to be replaced and the oil's leaking out of the other side just a tiny bit out of the valve covers. You'll have to do some work with that, but it's running really good. All right, so it starts and runs and idles. We've got it so that it... Uh, you can sit there. In order to turn the dyno, you have to have it at about a thousand, but it'll idle wherever you have it. It's a really mild cam. What we're going to do right now is go through the pass. You can see there's 50 pounds of oil pressure. Right now we are um, nicely idling along in the 12s as far as air fuel goes, which is nice. It's going to respond good there. If we pick up the, the throttle, motor goes like that and comes right back to idle. Just very, very good running motor now. And uh, here we go. We're gonna make ourselves a little bit of a pass, so we'll turn on the fans, and we'll run our way through this. As you're watching, you can see your oil pressure, your RPM over here, and this is the most important thing for me, is your air fuel, so we'll go from there. We've just made a major adjustment to the carburetor, so we'll see how it takes it. good it was easy the fueling was finally in the 12s and returns right back to idle goes right back to where it should be now one thing you can watch up here is your vacuum as we bring the throttle up we can see the vacuum and you can see that it makes lots of vacuum carburetor runs good works good we can return it right back to idle runs good does what it's supposed to do okay now what we'll do is shut the fans and all the water pumps and everything off. And what we're gonna do is look at um, where the fueling actually is. It looked way, way better than what it had uh, previously. We were in the, um, the 11s and this time it looked to me like we were in the really low 12s. It looked good as we were coming through, so we'll see. Horse torque is up a little bit down low. Horsepower is pretty much the same as it's been every time. We've been anywhere from 353 to 360. It's just been nice. Good running motor, nice, easy curve, went through like nothing. Um, and our major thing here is that we just wanted to get the fueling into the 12 so it was nice and safe. Perfect. That's where we are. 
So here we are, we're, we're peaking. If we rev it higher, it makes more power, it makes 475 foot-pounds of torque, which is beautiful. It's got 357 horse on that pass, running good. Oil pressure's awesome, temperature's nice, and the air fuel is right where we wanted it. 